So the okay. next person in the hot seat as we prepare for the Lemur National Grand Prix Championships is the lovely Lisa Marriott. Lisa, you're riding Veluccio with us at Hartbury. Um, you've just told me that you've been out today and you, the little birdie sort of, you had a win today in, your, in a Grand Prix for the practice. Yeah, I had a sneaky practice, but um, we haven't been out since Le Mans, so that was a few months ago. So we thought we better dust off all the, uh, I don't know, the spider's webs and everything else and have another go. But it was good. It was fun and it was successful and a nice score. Nice, yeah, really nice score. So now it makes me even more excited. Well, tell me, tell us a little bit about um, the, the journey that you've had with this horse um, to sort of get to Grand Prix and sort of where you are in your Grand Prix careers. Okay, so he, um, we bought him as a four-year-old, so I've had him all the way from the beginning. He has been probably the most uh, challenging horse I've ever had. I've retired out of more tests than I've ever completed, um, but he, yeah, he's, he's mine, he's special, and I, I love him, and, and I don't think anyone else is going to, so... Um, yeah, now he's doing it and he's getting nice scores at the, the bigger levels. So I thought finally at Grand Prix he has to go around the edge of the arena. <laughs> he is notoriously spooky and everybody knows it. So that's fine. <laughs> so, so what are your thoughts? But yeah, I mean, let's just hope. I'm like... You got that phone call for heart, for heart to come to Hartbury. Oh. What did, what did that feel like? Yeah, really good. I mean, we had a, a good start at the beginning of the year at Maesco at the Premier League. And I was really happy with him then. And then, of course, everything stops. Um, and we were busy practicing at home for, for quite some months. So, yeah, it's uh, for me, it's a highlight because I've never done uh, and I've never done a national championship at Grand Prix level before. So it's my first time. It's his first time. Yeah. So, I mean, it's Christmas. It's yeah. After everybody having such a difficult year, it's just time to have some fun, I think, for a few days. Excellent. Well, I think having spoken to, to most of the entries, there's quite a few of you sort of first doing your first Grand Prix championships and horses too. So I think it's going to be, um, it's really exciting to have you all sort of having, making your debut. And like you say, just for us all to get together after it being such a sort of awkward, awkward season, really. So, right. Well, let's get a little bit more into the mood for Hartbury and we'll have okay. some fun with some Christmas quick fire questions. Just because of my age, okay. I need to put my glasses on. I've just given my sort of <laughs> proved to everyone that I'm older than than I look clearly. Uh, right, the first question <laughs> is: mince pies, short crust or flaky pastry? Uh, short crust. Christmas tree lights, white or coloured? At uh, white. Oh yes, very white, very beautiful. <laughs> uh, tur turkey meat, white or brown? Uh, all of it. All for of me. it. Yep. Any, Be both. <laughs> <laughs> Any or all. Be honest. Do you like giving gifts or receiving them better? Mm. Honestly, mm. no, I do like giving, but I do like receiving too. It's both nice. <laughs> I can't. 50-50. Mm. I'm going 50-50. All right. All right. We'll give you that one. <laughs> right, you're, at a, you're at a party. Husband decide. <laughs> Mistletoe hung up. Do you make a beeline or do you avoid it like the plague? <gasps> probably avoid it. <laughs> probably. Uh, yes, right, Christmas... probably avoid it. Unless the husband was there. And then that's different. I then guess. with the husband. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll give you that one. Christmas Day. Do you have lunch or do you have I dinner? lost you? Oh, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, um, we have, um, yeah, normally three o'clock. So being in the north, I don't even know what you'd call that. So in between. But it's uh, normally two, three o'clock. Okay. Okay. Are you still there? Have we lost yeah. you. I can hear you okay. You hear me all right, Lisa? Cool. Uh, next question. Yes, it's just the reception, I think. Uh, next question. Do you muck out on Christmas Day? Hello. Oh, hello. I do 4.30 in the morning. I'm there. I do the whole yard. Everything goes out. 
be there. Everything yep. goes out in the morning. I muck out from 4.30 in the morning. And yeah, I enjoy it on Christmas Day. Then I'm ready for my lunch. I bet you are. That sounds bad. That, that sounds dedication. Uh, your favorite Christmas song or hymn? Hardcore, right? Oh, him. Oh, jeez. Um, oh, you know, like I'm going to go a song yeah, or I'm a hymn. Go Mariah Carey. It has to be Mariah Carey. It's it has just to be. Classic. classic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where did we get to? Br Christmas pudding, brandy sauce, or rum butter? I don't like it. That's all right. I don't like it either. <laughs> <laughs> Sticky toffee uh, pudding when you're talking, but no. Okay. Not well, it's all, it, in the Marriott household, it's clearly sticky toffee pudding. We'll it take is, that. It is. <laughs> uh, Christmas movies, Elf or Miracle on 34th Street? Mm, elf. Uh, what's your go-to Boxing Day meal? Um, Boxing Day meal. I think it's going to be... Um, Frere Rocher, lots Fair of them. <laughs> Complete the sentence. It wouldn't be Christmas without uh, bubbles. Good answer. <laughs> Is it acceptable to eat Quality Street for breakfast in December? Absolutely, all year round, it's acceptable. Uh, and on the subject of chocolate, heroes or celebrations? Uh, it's going to be. Um, now let me think. Which one's which? <sighs> Celebrations. And what have you asked Santa for this year? A day off. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the first one to say that. No, um, what did I ask Santa for this year? Um, I haven't really. That's disappointing. I have, a, I, have a, I have a partner who's very, very generous with gifts, so I've never needed to ask for anything, so I'm kind of lucky in that respect. Okay. <laughs> The Queen's speech, essential viewing or time for a snooze? Mm, used to be essential. Mm, horses have kind of took over now. Okay, so doing horses. Uh, yeah. Your favourite family Christmas tradition? It might be something you did as a kid or something now. Um, our favourite tradition would be that we all have to write down one thing we want to achieve in the following year. And we write it, everybody writes it down and then we bring it out the next year and see whether anybody made it. <laughs> <laughs> and Christmas shopping, are you the sort of person that's all done and dusted by December the 1st or a little bit of a Christmas Eve panicker? Um, mm, I'm a little bit of a panicker. Time again, time again. <laughs> but I always make it. I do always make it though. All, all the gifts are already always in place. It's always made in the end. And the final question, it sort of relates to your tradition, really. Will you be making any New Year's resolutions and what are the chances of you sticking to them? Um, New Year's resolution would probably be, my little voice coming in now, it's quite cute. Um, it's all right, you can call me out, we're nearly finished. Okay. Um, he's coming, sorry. Lakey, okay. come on then. Are we shutting the door? He has to shut the door. Here we go. Lakey, come. He's autistic, you see, so. Come, That's come. fine. Come see, who's this? Hello. Hey. Say hi. Go hug. Doug. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so if... We don't speak to we yet. We... Oh, oh, bye bye. Say bye bye. He's the best thing about Christmas this year. For sure. We have lots of nice presents for him. I bet I bet have on Christmas Day is magical with him. It's gonna be. And <laughs> um, right, what was the last question again? What was the last one? Know. Sorry, we got distracted. What will what <laughs> will you be making any New Year's resolutions and what's the chance of you keeping them? Mm. Oh, okay. Give me one second, let me think about it. New Year's resolutions. I'd love to be um oh eggs, sorry. It's eggs. Sorry. <laughs> eggs <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna be able to um i don't know this is a really difficult one i need one sorry i'm getting distracted you don't get this with anybody else right <laughs> it, shows, <laughs> it shows your real life and that's what everybody loves to see. <laughs> to to see you dressed, dressed up to the nines it shows it's nice to see you at home <laughs> it's a proper little boy aren't you Mwah! You know, I don't really have any New Year's resolutions as such. I just want, I'm super happy when he's happy and when everybody's well. And that's that's the most important thing. I think then you're winning at life if everybody's already happy, right? That so, sounds pretty good. Hi. That sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, that's going to be, yeah, just a, a, a successful, happy, healthy 
year and that's uh, that's super cool possibly maybe he'd let us cut his hair that would be <laughs> that would be great because so far he's nearly four years old and yeah he won't let us cut it will he no so he's grown very long <laughs> Well, Lisa, that's brilliant. It's lovely to meet you all. Um, and we really do look forward to seeing you at Hartbury. I think sort of a lot of people will be interested to, to follow your progress, um, especially having seen a little bit into your life. Um, so we wish you the best of luck and oh, just a few days to go now until we get there. So see you soon. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank you. Thank see you. you soon. Thank you. Say bye-bye. Bye. bye. bye.